Hello, and in this video we'll be using OnShape uh, to create a uh, the pieces we're going to use to make a box. So in this video we'll just make the pieces, uh, then our next video we'll put the pieces together to make a box. Uh, so in this video, uh, it tells us we need a 4x4.5 four by, four by a quarter inch piece of basswood, another 4x5 four by, by a quarter inch piece of basswood, and then a third 4x4 four by, four by a quarter inch basswood. So we'll create those uh, three different pieces on on shape. Uh, then our next video will show you how to put it onto an assembly and put those pieces together into this box that we need to create for this assignment. Uh, so first we'll start by coming over to on shape. Uh, we're here at the home page. This is here on the box is what we want as our end result. Uh, and we'll show you how to get there in these next two videos. Uh, so first we're just going to go to create and we're going to start a new document for this one. So I'm just going to title this my uh, box video since I already have one that's labeled box. Uh, you can just name yours box if you want. And then we hit OK. And that should bring us to our part studio. Uh, so we're here and it gives us our planes. And all we're doing is making these uh, simple pieces of basswood. These uh, square rectangular prism pieces of basswood. Uh, so I'll start with the first one. If you don't remember, uh, that's a four by four and a half by a quarter inch piece of basswood. Uh, so all I'm going to do is start a sketch. I'm just going to go on the front. You can go on any plane you want. I'm going to center it on that front. And then I'm going to make a square or a rectangle. I start at the origin and then I just click wherever and I can dimension it to make it the right size. So four, hit enter, then 4.5 for four and a half and then enter again. Uh, once I have that shape created, I can zoom out if I want. You don't have to. You can just uh, finish that sketch. Uh, then we want to extrude. If you need to change your view to see it, we can hit that corner and then we can extrude it out a quarter of an inch. So I click on inside my box and I change my depth to 0.25. And then I can hit enter and it shows me that change or I can just hit the green and it makes that shape for me. Uh, once we have that part, we might want to change the name of it. So I'm going to come down here where it says Part Studio 1, and I'm just going to right click and do a rename. Uh, the rename, I'm just going to name it Side 1 and hit Enter. And then I want to do the same thing up here where it says Part 1. I want to change that name too. So I'm going to right click and also rename that one. So all the way at the top, rename. And I'm again just going to name it Side 1 and hit Enter. So now I have side one. I'm going to make it a different color just so it's easier for us to see our different pieces when we go to make that assembly. And I need to make it out of basswood. Uh, so to do that, all I'm going to do is I just change the name to side one, same location. Again, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to assign material. Uh, so it's got a material library there for us already. Where it says none, we have to pick the material we want. Uh, so you just scroll down and click down and we find basswood. The assignment says to make it basswood, so we make it basswood, and we just click the green arrow, and now it's basswood. It doesn't look like basswood, but change the density, it changed the properties of the material to wood. Uh, then I'm going to change the color just to make it easier when we go to assemble it. So again, right click. Now I'm going to edit appearance. Uh, lots of different things you could do to change the appearance. I'm just going to make it a uh, kind of solid color. I'm just going to pick red for this one just so it's easier when we're working on it later on. And I'm going to click my green and then it automatically saves. I don't have to do any file save. It's cloud based so it's automatically saved. Uh, but we do want to make our other two pieces so I'm going to click on this plus sign and I'm going to create part studio to make a new part. So again, same process. Uh, I'm going to do a sketch. I'm going to click on the front. I'm going to change my view so I can see that front. And then I'm going to make a rectangle. Uh, to remind us what size that is, we can see it's four by five and then still a quarter inch. So again, I'm going to the origin. I'm go over, I can click whatever. And then I type in my four, enter, five, enter. And that gives me my shape. I hit my green check and that finishes off and then I can extrude if you want to see it better we can click on that corner and we can extrude. Uh, again we got to tell it what to extrude by clicking in it and then change our depth to 0.25. And then we hit the green check and it makes our shape for us. Again we want to rename it so I'm going to come down here on the bottom and rename 
and I'm going to change it to side two. Enter again, same thing up here where it says part one. I want to rename that and change it to side two. Uh, then once I've renamed it, I'm going to change the properties. It doesn't matter the order, but I'm just going to keep the order consistent. So first I'm going to assign the material, and I'm going to change it to basswood. So we click on down until we get to basswood, and I just missed it. There we go. And we do our green check. Uh, then we do the same thing again with uh, color, only this time we're going to pick a different color from last time. Uh, so I'm going to hit this. Uh, edit appearance button and I'm going to change that appearance uh, last one we did was red I'll make this one blue just so it's obviously different color and we hit our check mark uh, as we've renamed it we've created the shape and we got the right material so now we'll move on to our last side so again create part studio and we let it load and again, we're just sketching a uh, square this time. So again, I'm just going on the front for all of these. Change my view to the front. It should be 4x4. Four four. We'll check and make sure that it's 4x4, four four and it is. And we'll go back and make this, right, this square. So again, I'm starting on the origin. doesn't matter where I click because I'm going to dimension it. 4, enter, 4, enter. Uh, once I've done that, I can hit my green check. Uh, to see it better, I'm just going to hit that corner and we'll extrude it again. So extrude, same thing as before, click inside, change our depth to 0.25 and green check to let it go out. Again, I'm going to rename, so I'm going to right click and rename it to side 3. Then same thing over here on part 1, I'm going to rename that to side 3. Uh, and finally, we got to change our material and color. So again, right click, assign material, where it says none, we click, and we click down a few times until we get to basswood, and we click on that and select our green check. Finally, change the color, we right click, and we go to edit appearance. Uh, this one I'll do like an orange color, and I'll give it a green check. Uh, so now we have all three sides. In our next video, we'll go to an assembly and assemble those pieces together. Uh, hopefully, you were able to create these pieces without too much trouble. Uh, if you do have questions, let me know. Otherwise, good luck.